Spring's U.S. Women's Open, presented by the brands of Ebonite International. Hi, my name is Del Warren, uh, Vice President of the Kegel Training Center, and we're here at the Ebonite Test Center, uh, continuing to discuss the uh, elements of the 2011 BPA U.S. Open. And uh, it's my pleasure, we have uh, four major championship winners here, and we're going to be talking about uh, the particular pattern and how they bowled on it. Um, to my right is Liz Johnson, Jason Couch, Tommy Jones, and Kelly Kulik. Uh, a lot of titles in this group, and uh, the theme today is uh, really talking about you guys got a chance to bowl on the pattern, both on the MFH SPL um, surface, which has a lot more friction, and of course the Brunswick product, uh, Pro Am Lane, which, which is a little bit harder and uh, certainly is, is a much different situation than bowling on the AMF product. So first um, I'll, I'll start over here with uh, Jason Couch. Um, you got a chance to, you know, to bowl and work out some equipment and, and actually move around the lane. Tell us uh, you know, a little bit about your strategy and how you would play the pattern. Well, certainly on the Brunswick Pro Anviling, we know that's a lot harder surface, so I'm certainly going to play it a lot straighter. Uh, on the SPLs, I took something a little cleaner through the front of the lane and actually moved in a little further to create a little more angle down the lane, make up for all that friction. Did you, uh, did you have a different surface on the two balls that you were throwing? No, actually they're both out of the box, around 2,000. Uh, I noticed that on the uh, lot harder surface with the Brunswick Pro Anviling, I went with a, uh, a game on with a four inch pin. Stay a little more direct. You know, I've noticed on bowling on that surface that if you throw it away from the pocket too far, it has no chance of recovering, especially on a major pattern. Did you feel pretty comfortable? You had some options uh, when you decided to attack the pattern? It wasn't just one particular thing and that was it? You oh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, anytime Kegel does a pattern, you usually find multiple angles because they do have a launch pad built into their patterns. So I'm pretty comfortable knowing that I can play up the lane if I want to. I can also move in and hook a little bit if I, if I feel more comfortable doing that. Yeah, it's interesting you say that. Um, as we've discussed uh, previously, there's a lot of different ways to attack this pattern so that um, you know, with all the different styles of, of participants that's going to be trying to get into the tournament, we uh, felt like it was pretty important that uh, everybody had a chance to play their A game. And, uh, you know, Tommy, um, what did you think? You know, I mean, I agree with Jason. There was definitely several different angles that you could play. You could play, you know, between 10 to 5 and, and go up there, go a little more direct with a weaker ball. Or you could use a stronger cover and get in and loop it a little bit more. Um, there was a little bit of hold at both places and a little bit of swing at both places. but. Getting the right ball matched up for you and how you want to play the lanes is going to be very important. How soon uh, after you started practicing were you able to see the picture? Uh, it doesn't take very long, you know. I mean, it's 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 one of those patterns that you know there are a lot of angles that you can play, and, and you're bowling a major championship, so you're going to have to be very patient for the whole week. But you're also going to have to go out there and, and do something that you're comfortable at. You're not going to bowl on something that as demanding bowl that many games and be able to beat the best women bowlers in the world by doing something you're not very good at. Well, um, when you went back and forth on the two different surfaces, did you use the same ball, or, or did you actually have to change equipment? Uh, I changed balls. I definitely thought that the uh, the pro amble lane played much tighter, and uh, it was more it was much more imperative to play more up the lane than it was to, to hook it. The the SPL surface seems to have a lot more friction built in, especially down lane. It seems to have more recovery, and you can have the ball farther away from the pocket, farther down the lane. So uh, did you use more surface? Did you, uh, you know, what ball did you throw on the Pro Ambulane? I used a Mission 2.0 on the Pro Ambulane and I used a hard ball with a strong drill on the, on the SPL because of the fact that I could get it to clear the front but still get to read the mids and control the back end. Well, that's, that's quite a difference. It's, it's definitely a difference and it shows the difference in, in lane play and what, pattern, what surface you're bowling on, how much difference it's going to play and where you qualify for this event and when you get to the final event, they may not be the same thing that you qualified on. Wow, big difference. Um, Kelly, this is kind of the second day you got a chance to bowl on a little bit, and uh, um, did, uh, did you see any difference today versus uh, yesterday? Um, well, the guys definitely made the pattern more eye-opening to me. Uh, coming in, watching Tommy and Jason with a high rev rate, more than I have, they really show that they were able to play their comfort level playing inside the lane. Um, so for me, it just kind of recertified that I'll be able to go in, start in my comfort zone somewhere between the third and fourth arrow, hook the lane like I like to and just carry on as the breakdown goes through. Liz, I saw you throwing a lot of strikes. Uh, um, I was still able to throw right around my comfort zone right around the first second arrow. I um, was able to use a couple different balls, some strong drillings uh, on the pro lane. I was able to go a little more up the boards and going on the, 
the, the other pattern, uh, I was able to still use the same, same ball, but maybe uh, it was a little more forgiving. I was able to go away with it a little bit more and have the recovery. Okay. So no major changes in strategy now that you had a, a second chance to, to, to look at the pattern? Um, for me, again, I'll just be able to start inside where I like to play, and hopefully that will be a great advantage for me. Same with me. I'm just uh, trying to stay with that, that same zone and uh, hopefully uh, the right balls match up and get a lot of strikes. Well, um, all four of you were uh, hitting the pocket quite a, quite a bit. and that's, uh, that's good to see and you look comfortable. So, again, the theme is multiple angles um, and pretty easy to get to the pocket, especially if you can play your A game and then uh, just uh, let your ball be your guide. And uh, hopefully this is great information for everyone and we look forward to seeing you at one of our events. Hi, I'm Kelly Kulik, 2010 U.S. Open Women's Champion. I invite you ladies to come on out and sharpen your skills and learn about the game of bowling. You will be entitled to work with some of the best coaches there is in the sport of bowling. If you're looking to sharpen your skills, learn about the U.S. Open pattern, and someday be a future competitor in this event, I encourage you to come out, put on your shoes, tie them up, and give it a go. You too can bowl to win. Bowling's U.S. Women's Open. Presented by the brands of Ebonite International.